Matthew Littman, political consultant and former speechwriter for Vice President Joe Biden, and Matt Schlapp was White House political director under President George W. Bush. He is the chairman of the American Conservative Union. Um, Matt and Matt, welcome, you guys. Good to see you this morning. Thanks. Uh, yeah, she was a bit riled up last night, Matthew Littman. What do you think? Well, look, she's right. She has many more votes. And let's also remember that in 2008, Hillary had more votes than Barack Obama. But, you know, after that, Hillary conceded and she became Secretary of State to Obama. I think when Sanders concedes, I don't think he's going to be Secretary of State under Hillary Clinton. But she does have almost three million more votes than Bernie Sanders right now. She is right to be a little bit defensive. She's winning. And yeah. as Matt Schlaub will tell you, she's way ahead of Trump in all the polls. <laughs> And that's what Matt Schlapp was just about to tell us, wasn't it, Matt Schlapp? <laughs> uh, I, I, I've had this fight with Matthew a couple times. I'm not looking at any general election polls. They mean very little. The fact is, is this. I don't know why Hillary Clinton does get riled up. Why isn't she enjoying this? She has a pretty substantial lead in votes and in delegates. All the superdelegates hang out with her at cocktail parties and love her. She should be enjoying this. She's on MSNBC talking to Rachel Maddow. Why can't she just enjoy it? Why can't she? I think she's a little worried because she's fighting two campaigns. She's trying to fend off these Bernie Sanders people who clearly just don't love her. And second of all, she's got this FBI investigation hanging over her neck that Matt, Matthew Littman won't talk about, but a lot of Democrats in D.C., they are quietly still very concerned that something bad comes out of this investigation. She's got a lot of pressure on her, I guess. You know, there's a piece today that talks about the, well, you've got the Sanders voters, for one thing, right? And, you know, he has a little bit of leverage with the people who support him and where they're going to go. Then there's the concern for Democrats, Matthew Littman, about the Democratic voters who may decide in a general matchup that, that they'd rather vote for Donald Trump. Well, I find that very hard to believe. Let's remember in the, last, in the 2008 election, a lot of Hillary supporters said they wouldn't vote for Obama, and 90 percent of them ended up voting for Obama. I don't think that there's much of a comparison when you see Hillary running against Trump that Democrats are going to vote for Trump. But, but let's be clear, about 30 percent of Republicans have said they won't vote for Trump, and more than 50 percent of Americans have said they'd be embarrassed by a Trump presidency, I Look, think that you the know, party they both will have unite huge very negatives, but, th Hillary. but there is That's crossover right. vote on both sides. You've got this weird situation going on, That's right. Matt Schlapp, where you've got Republicans who, as, as Lippmann says, um, say they would never vote for Donald Trump and that they would consider voting for Hillary Clinton. Um, you know, well, e even in the, in the halls of Coke industries, um, we heard that right. over the course of the weekend. But then you do have Democrats, a lot of blue-collar Democrats across the country, who say, you know what, I've never voted for a Republican in my life, but I like what Donald Trump is saying. The question is, which side are there more of? Slap. Yeah, that's a great question. So when I travel around the country and I'm in a, uh, in a car with an Uber driver, I often ask them, who are you going to vote for? And I can't tell you how many times, Martha, they have said either Trump or Sanders. It leaves a guy yeah. like me scratching my head because it seems like they're so ideologically opposite. But I think their point is very simple, which is they want to say, you know why there's 30 percent of both parties that are saying they won't vote for the person who's probably going to get their nomination? It's because all the other 70 percent want to send that 30 percent a message, which is they're tired of the way these parties and the way Washington has been operating. And I think if these insiders don't get that message, they, there must be something wrong with them upstairs. Yeah, you know, Matthew Lippman, when you, when you look at the, those voters, and I, I was watching a segment this morning in a diner in Pennsylvania, and, you know, an overwhelming sentiment is, why not give someone from the outside a try? right? They, they don't trust people who've been in Washington for a long time, and they're willing to kind of throw that chessboard up in the air and say, you know, why don't you let this guy ha have a go at it? Well, on the Democratic side, Sanders has been in office since 1992. So it's not like either of them are really outsiders in the Democratic primary. And let's remember on the Republican side, Trump has been fundraising for Democrats for decades. I wouldn't consider a billionaire an outsider either. So I think what you've got here, by the way, Martha, I like it when you call me by my last name. Keep doing that. <laughs> Let me in but I, think, I think what you've got here is in Hillary, somebody who's actually very experienced, works very hard, and is very far ahead. The reason Schlob doesn't want to talk about the polls is because Hillary's slaughtering Trump in all of the polls. No, no, let's talk me. about the poll. I'd actually like Real to talk quick, about the Real quick, we got to go. Go ahead, Schlapp. Okay. According to this kind of analysis, we would have had President Dukakis. We would have had a second term of Jimmy Carter. You can go on and on with people at this point led in the presidential race. Listen to me. It means nothing. We have to get closer to the general election until those polls matter. And I think Hillary Clinton's in a world of hurt. All right. So O'Reilly calls me McCallum. So I'm going to call you guys Schlapp and Littman <laughs> from now on. Good to see you both.